To start the machine, you're going to need to push on this switch and make sure that this switch is also pushed on. All these switches should be pushed upwards. The temperature should be around 400 degrees. You can adjust the temperature here, and the, the indicator mark is right here at the top. The indicator mark's here, and you can see it's around 400 degrees. So just to be clear on that, the first thing you do is flick on the power switch, and then flick on the radio. When you turn off the machine, after production, you want to flick from run to shutdown, and after about 10 minutes, the machine will automatically shut down for you. So, for instance, the machine is on. In 10 minutes, it would have cooled down and shut off. Coming down here, underneath, is the speed control for the conveyor in the tunnel. You can only, you only rotate this normally when you're running the machine. So this will speed up and slow down the tunnel. I'll show you that. airflow on at low. Don't put it over to high. Almost everything you do will be on low. That's where the airflow should be set. The main power button is to press to turn the power on to the machine after the switch on the side of the machine is turned on. So this switch has to be turned on and then you press the main power button. The seal bar or the ceiling head is heating up to 160 degrees. We just had the machine on, so it's still at 152. Once you've done that, to start the machine, you press the start button and automatic. Well, the automatic light will come on, actually. So when you should press this, go show the infeed loop. So I'm going to press that. Okay, come back. That'll turn the infeed, the infeed on. This will turn it off. You'll never have to press the automatic film advance. Uh, this does a manual seal on the seal jaws. When you first put the film on, you're going to have to pull the film in and make a manual seal. we join the two layers together. The discharge conveyor is for jogging the discharge. The speed of the discharge is controlled here. All the speeds are controlled here. We've marked them for you so you don't have to adjust them. The infeed speed, the discharge conveyor speed, the upper and lower films. 